Way back in the olden days of the past, someone published a paper called What is it like to be a bat? And that guy talked about how you, as a presumably a human, can never know what it's like to be a bat unless your name's Bruce Wayne. In which case, why are you watching my videos? You should be out fighting crime. Attempts to document the experience of the animal mind in comics are usually a dismal failure. Think of Garfield. He's nothing like a cat. He's, he eats lasagna, he walks on two legs, he has two giant saucer-shaped eyes. Cats don't have saucer eyes. He looks like an alien. His shape is not cat-like. Nothing like a cat at all. One thing I love about comics is how immediately you get to understand how the author, or the artist, or both of them, how they use time and experience time. I think that's what all stories kind of get across, but you know, when you're reading prose, it takes a lot longer to get to that level of feeling how the author moves through time. With movies, you get it too, but it's a little more coercive and it's not quite that dance of consciousness that you get with comics, because with comics, when you're reading, if you don't put your energy into it, it doesn't happen. So it's not like movies where you can just open your eyes and that experience will happen to you. What the hell am I talking about? Penny by Carl Stevens. Really, really great book if you like cats, if you like understanding their thought processes and the experience of being a cat. You know, the cat in this book, Penny, who is based on a real cat, the author's cat, Penny, same name, is uh, using words. And as far as I know, cats don't use words. They don't know language. But I pointed this out in my James Joyce Ulysses course that even though that book uses a stream of consciousness to kind of impart the feeling of thinking, even humans, we don't use language all the time. We use images. We see, we see images like comics. We hear sounds like music. We hear, uh, we feel things. That's kind of like without any, anything attached to them. We just feel these emotions that are welling up from the past. And we have these, uh, you know, imagination is everywhere. So we think in all kinds of different modalities. I'm gonna be honest, for the first 10 pages or so, I was not really into this book. The problem is Carl Stevens decided to not like make this some fantasy like quest of, you know, a cat saving the world from aliens or going on a fantasy quest like a King Arthur. He kind of makes fun of that in this book because this is essentially a cat and he wants to keep it at that level. What is What the actual things are that a cat is interested in and that it's focused on, but uh, allow you to see it as a human, again, presumably, that it is uh, already exciting and dramatic. The art, as you can see, is very realistic. This is not Garfield. I think he uses maybe uh, watercolor for the coloring, perhaps. It seems very clearly a lot of photo references. I, I don't see him drawing this just from uh, from his head. A lot of the pages stand alone and a lot of the the content could actually be reshuffled in any order. I think you could just, this would be a coffee table book in which you can just pick it up to any page for the most part and read and get a one page or a two page story. Uh, there's a few longer storylines, but by, by and large, this is a very modular book. I think maybe they were serialized on Instagram or maybe in magazine format. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, some, format that allowed it to be independent. If you do not like cats, this might not be your book. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna convert you. It's, like I said, not any kind of fictionalized cat form. It's cats as they are and uh, not dressing them up in any... Well, there's a little... It's the imagination that we get to see into the cat is somewhat remarkable, but otherwise this is, you know, the stuff that you... Cat owners probably... Every cat owner has experienced these things. I grew up as a kid having a cat, so I can vouch for the authenticity of this this cat, Penny. And yeah, I think this is a wonderful book. I enjoyed it a lot. I would love to read it again, and I recommend it for you.